you ever have really emotional days? Maybe you, or you get really angry or resentful for everything that you're doing in your life or how hard you're working or maybe things aren't working out. Or maybe you get really sad or really depressed. How do you know when you need to work on your personal development to get your life happier or when you need to wallow and just be with the emotions that you are having? Well, today I'm going to tell you a little bit more about how to decide which way to go when you're feeling emotional so that you can really be healthy and strong in your emotional awareness and state. This is Zen in a Moment, the podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow. By flow, I mean feeling light, open, and wise. And I'm your host, stress as guidance expert, Zen Cryer to Brooke. All right, you know, sometimes I get to this place where I'm really down or I'm really angry. And there's a, a, a tool that I use, the internal guidance system, to let me know whether or not I need to be with these emotions fully, wallow in them, let them happen. It doesn't matter whether it's anger, bit- bitterness, resentment. Uh, it could be feelings of depression or, or really deep levels of sadness, right? Or, you know, should I lift myself up? Should I should I change my state? Should I look at what's happening? Is there a story I'm running in my head? So one of the things to know is that, first of all, of course, I'm using the tool, the internal guidance system, which you can find a video that walks you through this tool that you have, you were born with. And it's it's located in your body between your throat and upper chest area. And you've been physically feeling it your whole life. And so if you want to get in touch with it and feel what I'm talking about, go to zeninamoment.com and do the video. There's a short little exercise. It'll give you an awareness of what I'm talking about. So this internal guidance system, what it does is it lets you know whether the thoughts you're thinking are in alignment and true for you and your life or whether they're out of alignment and not true. And what happens is, is that our emotions are a biochemical reaction that happens in the brain to a story that we're making, to ideas that we're having about our past, our present, or our future, about the people around us, about ourselves, right? And they're stories that are being generated by our mind based on our belief systems about who we are, how people are with us, and what is possible for us. In our in, in our experience, in our world, in our life, in our hopes, in our dreams, all of that. And are in these stories, there is meaning, right? So let's say someone you know is diagnosed with cancer, and that has meaning, like the possibility of losing them or, or the possibility of you needing to take on added work in your life in order to support them getting through this healing. Maybe you've had many people beat cancer and come through it, and they've had this miraculous new life come through this this difficult, challenging experience, and you are actually feeling excited and thrilled. And I mean, of course, worried, but also thrilled that this person is going to, you know, get an opportunity to have this new way of looking and being in life. Whatever the meaning is that your mind makes up about something creates a chemical reaction. That is your emotional body, your emotional state. Now, these emotions can be either just like your thoughts, either true and in alignment or not true and false, a story you're making up. And the difference is, is just like using your IGS, one will be opening. If it's true and in alignment, these emotions that you're feeling are, are connected to a story that is true, that is actual, that is going to happen or has happened or is real or not true, right? And it's not going to happen, then you'll feel a closing sensation. So an example could be making up a story about one of your children, about what's going on in their life. Maybe you're making up a story about a limitation that you feel they have, and there's a sadness attached to it. If the sadness is opening, that limitation that you're feeling is true, and it'll be a rich experience that you'll be able to move into and through and support your child in becoming more, even more extraordinary with what they have to work with, the, more, more authentically themselves. Or if it's not true, you're making up a story possibly from your own childhood or a worry that you have, a way of seeing the world, and it's not true that your child has this limitation, you'll feel a, 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 an uncomfortable suffering, anxiety feeling attached to that story about a limitation. And that means the limitation doesn't exist, okay? And so Throughout our lives, we are in the midst, I know this may sound a little complex, but, uh, but, but hang in here with me. Throughout our lives, we're in the midst of an emotional experience. And our emotions can either be attached to 
meaning that we're putting on stories, whether they're true or not, if they are true, if the emotional experience is true, it's in alignment, then even if the emotion is uncomfortable, whether it's resentment or anger, rage, or depression, like a sorrow, or a, a, just a, a deep feeling of malaise, it'll be opening. And what that means is, is you won't have any suffering, you'll just be with the pure experience of the emotion. That means that in the opening, that emotion needs to be felt. It is an authentic part of your spiritual beingness, your soul. Regardless of what it is, if you're open, you must express that feeling. Now, oftentimes we'll shut those down because especially in the United States or in, in, in developing world countries where we've got a lot of success and wealth mm -hmm. and things, there's this, this, this theme that we have to be happy all the time, that every, all of our emotions need to be pleasant or there's something wrong with our lives. But that's not true. We are rich, extraordinary beings. So for instance, an example is when my mom died, I was 23 years old when she died. And she was my best friend and I loved her. I adored her. And when I would hold thoughts after her death of how much she brought to my life, I would have this powerful sense of loss and grief that was so important for me to feel, but I was open. And, and it was healing and it was beautiful and it was rich and it was important to be expressing that deep love and the grief of loss. But when I would shift my thoughts in the same, you know, it could be even 15 minutes later to woes me, self-pity, who's going to be there when I get married? Who's going to help me, you know, teach me how to raise children and, and be there and, and, and fee give me feedback? My mom gave me great feedback. And this woes me experience would happen. I would close and I, it was hollow. And, and even though I was still feeling grief, it was this hollow, sick feeling. And there was no rejuvenation in it. There was no health. There was no power in it. It was just a collapse. It was just ugly. And there are times when you're, you may get really angry and you're closed and it's ugly and it's collapsing. And that means what you're thinking, the story you're generating is not true. Or you get depressed or you get sad and that hollow feeling of suffering and anguish, it means what you're thinking is not true and you need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get over your shit and figure out what lie you're telling yourself that's it, unempowering you in your life and keeping you away from your greatness and your richness and your soul's purpose and growth. But then there's other times when you may need to take the day off work and you're feeling desperately sad about something in your life. You may not even know what it's connected to in the moment, but that sadness is opening. And that, mean that means that you're the cellular level of your body and the beingness of your soul needs to feel that hurt or that pain or that sadness or that anger. And it's opening and it's healthy. And what comes out of that, it's like rich compost, right? You know, compost is full of rotting, rotting shit, but it's good stuff to put on your garden. That compost is a very powerful tool for change and for you to have a healthy body and a healthy being and a healthy soul to come to a place in your life where you're feeling very clear once you've moved through that emotion about a change you need to make or a communication you need to have with somebody or something that you need to let go of. And so as you're learning to use your IGS, you're going to have these emotional experiences come up and it's your job to gauge, is it opening? And if so, f look at what you're thinking, because those thoughts are true and important. Or is it closing? And then look at what you're thinking, because that means what you're thinking is not true. And that is a story that's not serving you, and it's hurting you. It's actually hurting you on a cellular level with your own personal physical health, all the way through to your spiritual development level and the people around you. The opening emotions, even if they're unpleasant, when you bring them out, other people can empathize with you and love you and support you and get you and, and understand where you're coming from. Even if it's anger, they'll hear you. Anger is a powerful change agent in our lives if it's opening. It's destructive if it's closing, but it's a powerful change agent if it's opening. So start playing with this and notice, notice what's going on with your emotional state and what your IGS is sharing with you about the meaning of the story you're making up. All right, powerful lesson today, a lot of information. I'm gonna keep moving on this. We're gonna be working on boundaries. So I would encourage you if you're in this and you, the boundaries would be the next podcast to listen to, which will be the next one we're doing. It's a three-part series that I'm doing to enable you to begin learning how to, what to do with these opening emotions, one, one outlet which is Boundaries. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast that I'm giving you to help you have the most joyous, happiest, uh, stress-free life. Please share it with a friend, family member. 
you know somebody that you feel could really use this podcast, forward it along to them. Give me some comments below. Uh, We need a five-star rating on iTunes. If you use iTunes, please, 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 it helps this content get out there because the more five stars we have, the more that uh, iTunes puts us up in the search when someone searches for anger, stress, parenting, momhood, um, anxiety, fear, overwhelm, any of those things, we come up. And so please give us a five-star rating. And I just want to thank you for being here and listening. And in the meantime, until we get an opportunity to get to be together again, remember, I'm sending you love and blessings.